In this case, a pitcher can tell, or I should say, say a thousand words. Let's look at some lung tissue right up here to the side. All right, you see that big purple blob in the middle? Uh, that's basically what's called inflamed lung tissue, or lung tissue, I should say, damaged by inflammation. The exact same thing, or the exact same cascade effect that was put in place was prevented, if you look at the lung tissue off to the other side, by lactobacillus ruteri and or inosine. But in this case, we're gonna focus primarily on the gut bacteria itself. So you see the big purple blob, that's damaged lung tissue, and the exact same instigator which caused that problem was prevented by a friendly gut bacteria. Now what researchers did is they wanted to look basically at an autoimmune disease called IPEX uh, syndrome, which is really a bad autoimmune disease that impacts children uh, horrifically. But originally what it does, it causes things like eczema, type one diabetes, and really, really dreadful intestinal disorders. So what they did is they wanted to see what happens here because inflammation is out of control and it's autoimmune disease. So they wanted to focus on T regulatory cells. So let's go right into the research and read exactly what they say. Clue, that's what I'm gonna call it here. T regulatory cells suppress the immune system and prevent it from attacking the body's own tissues by mistake. I know it sounds counterintuitive, T regulatory cells suppress the immune system, but have to keep in mind it's an autoimmune disease. Defects in T regulatory cells therefore lead to various types of autoimmune diseases. Now let's go right into the study parameters. You can see how fascinating possibly doing something is consuming lactobacillus ruteri, or in this case, possibly inosine, uh, can actually help alleviate a lot of suffering in regard to autoimmune diseases. Now keep in mind, it's an animal study, it needs to be carried out to humans. Regardless of that, it's still incredible. All right, citation title. Reset a microbiota by lactobacillus ruteri inhibits T regulatory deficiency induced autoimmunity via adenosine A2A receptors DUI is as follows. Funding was the National Institute of Health. There was a conflict of interest in regard to the inosine and A2A agonists in that with regard to patent applications. Study participants, obviously we discussed with animals, study length 125 days, so it really doesn't matter too much. Materials, oral, Lactobacillus ruteri, I meaning Lactobacillus ruteri in this case was actually fed uh, to the mice, all right, and all to inosine. But again, we're focusing on the good bacteria here. Results, this is a quote, their conclusion. Our findings, as be it the researchers, suggest that probiotic L ruteri inosine or other A2A receptor agonists could be used therapeutically to control T cell mediated autoimmunity. Simple, eloquent, and extremely effective as you could see by those pictures prior. Now to go a little more detail in regard to what the researchers uh, said during the study as follows. Resetting microbiota by lactobacillus ruteri inhibits a T regulatory deficiency. The Journal of Experimental Medicine suggests that replacing, this is their words, so you can always look at the research and go to the DOI citation and see for yourself. The Journal of Experimental Medicine suggests that replacing the missing gut bacteria or restoring a key metabolite called inosine, remember they were researching both, could help treat children with a rare and often fatal autoimmune disease called IPX or IPEX, IPEX syndrome. Now just don't look at them in regard to that one syndrome. What the researchers are doing is saying, hey, lactobacillus ruteri and or inosine, possibly both, but again, I'm only sticking to the research parameters, can have tremendous impact in helping elevate T regulatory, uh, basically cells, bringing it back to normal through good positive bacteria and therefore helping alleviate who knows what type of autoimmune diseases or disorders that are out there. Once again, this is an animal study, so this is something you may wanna consider with uh, doing or pursuing this path, please do it with the guidance of your medical professional. However, fascinating, something as simple as an oral consumption of a basic probiotic can have that much impact on autoimmune disease in itself. Again, Ralph Turkiano signing off. As always, I hope you find this information useful. Work with your medical professional. And again, I'll see you once again in seven days. Catch you then. See you then. Bye.